Howdy YouTube, this is another video brought to you guys by PPCs. I'm Matt, and today we are checking out this cool new product from Corsair. They released this pump reservoir combo this past summer. It's called the XD7 RGB. Comes in a couple flavors. Uh, today, we're gonna be opening it up, because as you can see, all I've been able to look at is the box so far. Uh, and next week, I plan to use it in a water-cooled CPU loop. So I will actually see how it all performs and works out in a real world situation. So I'll probably let you guys know about how it all works out at the end as well. So stay tuned for that, but let's dive on into this. Alrighty, so first things first, we gotta open this bad boy up. As I mentioned, it comes in two different colors. You got white and black. This is a pump reservoir combo. So as though it does look like they are fans, they aren't actually fans. It's uh, merely the lighting, it appears. But uh, we'll take a closer look. Alrighty, so. We're into the good stuff here. And now I can already tell, it is definitely a milled distro of some sort, which is pretty nifty. And this does look like a D5 pump. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. We got some accessories in here as well. Here we have it, folks. It is the XD7. So these here are all your ports. I'm not quite positive which ones are ins and outs yet, but as you can see here on the other side, your channels do go around, and this uh, portion looks to be more of the reservoir area, since it is a pump reservoir combo. But uh, this is all the way solid all the way through, so this isn't something that you'd want to mount in your case where you need airflow, that's for certain, but something like the side panel of an 011, I think this would be a great distro for that. So very cool. We're definitely going to have to dig further down. So let's take some time to take a little closer look at this. This has got an interesting port layout because, like I said, this is a pump res combo. So it's more of a distro than a reservoir than anything, although I believe it can hold quite a bit of coolant by the looks of it. Um, they do give you this little diagram here that tells you what each port goes to. However, I do find it a little confusing that it doesn't say whether one's in or out. And it's a little tough to tell by just looking at it, which goes which way. This does look like a D5 pump, or at least, uh, you know, really similar pump to a D5. It's the, oh, yeah, it's a Xylem D5. So, great pump. Interesting port layout. Uh, it does have it set up for, it says this would be your GPU, CPU, and then your radiator. Assume this be your fill port, uh, and you have two more down at the bottom for your drain. So, we'll just have to figure it out as we go. So as I said, I figured there's no better way to show off this beautiful pump res combo than by using it, and we'll do just that in this beautiful Corsair Crystal 570. Uh, this is a little bit older case, however, it's very capable for water cooling. We'll be putting this in with a CPU loop, and we're actually not going to cool the GPU, but we'll have two radiators. So I will end up using all the ports. We're going to have to figure out which way they go. Um, but overall, should be a fun loop. We have a CPU block from Corsair as well. So I figured that kind of goes with the whole theme here. If you catch the drift. So first things first, in order to attach our pump reservoir combo to our case, Corsair kindly provided us with some nice screws here. 
and we decided to put this on the front of the case as that's where it fits and it'll look quite nice. I believe in most applications the front would be the place to put this. Just depends on your case though. Like something like an O11. This would go really nicely on the side panel I'm sure. So now that we've got it all mounted up, installed in the case and the radiator in as well, I'm going to install something that I found was really nice to come with this whole pump rest combo. And that would be a G and a quarter temperature sensor. So Corsair was nice enough to provide this with the XD7 combo. And I always find these are a great touch to any water cooling loop just because you can base your fan curves off it. It's a great diagnostic tool etc etc so we're gonna put this in one of the drain plugs since it has two or drain ports I should say it's gonna act as a plug for it since it is just a G and a quarter plug I don't know if you'd see it but it's in the bottom left corner there and we can tuck the wire in the back so that like I said is a really great touch really great use of one of the extra drain ports since they provide you with two which is also great with the other one we're gonna throw on a nice drain setup as well because that is also extremely important for your custom loop. And I know this drain setup is white and the rest of the fittings are probably not gonna be white, but uh, it's better to start at least with something and then uh, we can swap it out later if we do not like how it looks. So there you go, bottom two ports used up and now we've just got the rest to go.
there you have it folks. There's one complete custom CPU loop. Thanks to our friends over at Corsair. They actually sent us two of these lovely XD7 RGB reservoir kits. So we'll be giving away the other one right here on this channel. Check out the link below to find out how you can win that one. Overall, I think this was a great pump res combo. It really brings in the features of a custom distro as well as just a nice D5 pump res combo. Almost just blended into one unit. And with the added RGB lighting, I have to say it looks pretty good. If you aren't lucky enough to win one of these beautiful pump res combos, you can find them at PPCs of course, and those can be found in the description below. Thanks again to Corsair for making this possible, and as always, hope you guys have a great day, and happy water cooling!